hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here thank you so much for clicking the link or the thumbnail that brought you here if this is your second time here because this is my second video then thank you for coming back i really 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 appreciate it okay my name is messi and i make videos about faith and grad school i am currently a second year molecular biology phd student and the reason i'm saying this is because the video i'm going to make today directly relates to this in today's video i'm going to be talking about what i learned during my two years of waiting yeah two years of waiting what was i waiting for right <laughs> So um, I finished school, that is university, in 2017 and I got into grad school in 2019. So th those were my two years. I know that it may not sound like much for so many people, but for me it was actually a lot because the plan of my life was to finish uni in 2017 and go directly into grad school. But that didn't happen. I didn't even want to do NYSE, which honestly, I know I'm going to have more grad school videos. But if you're watching this and you have that plan, please, in my opinion, no, discard it, put it in the trash can and burn it because you need time. You need time. We're going to have grad school videos, but I think that you need time. Okay. Now let's come back to why we are here. Two years of waiting. What did I learn? Now, the first thing that I will talk about is that God has a plan god has a plan you could be waiting for school like i was you could be waiting for a baby you could be waiting for marriage you could be waiting for a job you could be waiting for whatever but the first thing that really really stuck with me is that god has a plan as simple as that is thoughts of good and not of evil to bring us to what unexpected and we say it every day but i think that the waiting period is really really going to test whether we believe that truth at all god has a plan it is all in his timeline even that waiting period is in his timeline when he was ordaining i mean of course sometimes we make foolish mistakes that cause delay in our lives i'm not talking about that i'm talking about genuinely you are doing everything you need to do mm -hmm. That waiting period is in the timeline. It's not just because of circumstance <laughs> or anything like that. It's actually in his timeline. He planned that Messi will finish school. Messi will have the um, desire to go to school immediately. But no, she's not gonna go. She's going to have to wait two years. All in his plan, all in his timeline. Perfect, it is perfect. It's not because they are doing you from your village. It is perfect, right? That's like one thing that I learned. And looking back in retrospect, I see why I had to wait. God, like what I learned, the people I met, they made my life amazing. I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Those two years of my life, they were very, very va um, valuable for what I'm doing now. I wouldn't be here if not for those two years. So now I see it. So yeah you're waiting just realize that god has a plan it's all planned out you are still right on time you are not late mm? <laughs> god has a plan now the second thing that i learned is to mind my lane and to make sure that i mind my love walk now when you're waiting if you're a competitive person like i am <laughs> then any small thing is gonna trigger you the other day i put on twitter and i was like <laughs> um on linkedin everybody's always announcing something ah, i just want to announce that i just got awarded this 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 the thing that they are awarding that person <laughs> may perhaps be the thing that you <laughs> are also expecting god for <laughs> expecting god to do for you and you see those things people are making progress life is happening if you don't take care, you're going to become jealous. You're going to become something else. You are going to, the waiting can make you become somebody that you never were. I mean, and with all of that, you just have to always be conscious of the fact that, number one, God has a plan for your life and for that person's life. And because you know God has a plan, then you should be content. 
content with where you are while being expectant of where you want god to take you to mind your love work whatever you're doing make sure that you're doing it out of love not out of desperation don't let waiting make you like i said <laughs> become somebody that you look back at and you'll be like why was i even doing that nonsense now the third thing that i learned is to one don't be idle comma <laughs> don't create an idol don't be idle don't create an idol let me gist you people just a little small gist <laughs> so when i was um, waiting i mean i i really really liked molecular biology because i had like a, a lecturer during uni that taught it really well and that was what made me fall in love with it so i always knew that and i like talking i like teaching i always knew that i wanted to do academia but school was not happening they were slapping me with rejection letter i mean <laughs> we are sorry to inform me love letters plenty in my email <laughs> and i needed to do something i needed to move forward i couldn't just fold my hands and say hey because i want to go abroad then nothing else matters <laughs> so i took a bank job yes i took a bank job and it was an experience because <laughs> it was stressful but it taught me a lot of discipline would i have been there right now if i didn't come to school Probably not because I knew that I did not want to do banking, but then it was something that I had to do just at that time It was important. I had to put my hands to something Bible says God blesses the works of your hands I had to ensure that I wasn't just whiling away time wasting my life wasting the opportunities that were around me You may think that this thing is not what I want to do this thing is not the ultimate, so why do it? But life is in steps. Some of the things I learned then in banking, I'm applying now some of the financial, a little financial knowledge that I had then, I'm applying now. It's, it's very important. Some of the people I met there are my very good friends now that I can always call. So you want to make sure that you're not wasting time you want to make sure that you're not sitting down folding your hands and just waiting oh my god actually i really know that this is what i'm gonna do so i'm not going to take any small job if you need to do business do that business if you need to learn a course le whatever you need to do don't be idle now to the following point which is don't create an idol mm. when you're waiting it can look like every other thing in this world don't matter except that one thing that you're waiting for. It's like the whole world should just come to a pause. Like every other part of your life should not even progress. Just that one thing. That is idolatry. <laughs> and that's not what God wants for us. Actually, in my own experience, I, I learned that God will bring you to a point of surrender where you actually say that man even if this thing doesn't come god i am still here i'm still willing to serve you i'm still willing to follow you god is going to rip off the bond the excessive bond that you may have with that thing so that when it eventually comes you will know that it is god that gave you do you get he will bring you to a point of surrender where you can say that whether or not this thing comes, I trust God. I judge God faithful. I believe that God is good. Whether or not this thing comes. Because your love for God and your relationship for God cannot be hinged on whether or not you get a particular thing. It's not a transactional thing. It's not a God, you give me this, I give you that. That's not how it works. So he's going to rip off all of those excessive obsession over what we're waiting for so that when it eventually comes you can still place it in its own place and have god take the god space in your heart right so then closely following that um the next point is don't lose sight of your isaac even if many ishmaels are born remember i said that you shouldn't stay idle yes i still agree don't stay idle but when you're not staying idle and you're doing other things please don't lose sight of your of your isaac regardless of how many ishmaels are born 
I don't want you to misconstrue this and think that um, you have to go and be doing because Ishmael was like illegitimate. I'm not saying you should do illegitimate since that's not, I, it's not me. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that don't lose sight of your Isaac. Yes, put your hands. Yes, do something. Yes, be useful and all of that. But don't lose sight. Remember the promise. Pray about the promise. Look for people. There was a time that it was like a, to me, it was like a turning point in the whole journey. And I remember praying and I told God that God, this prayer I'm praying is, let it be that mercy has done everything that she can do within her power. And if this thing does not work, then it's you that does not want it to work, right? So be on it, be on it, be on your Isaac. Remember your promise, let, your, let the promise of God upon your life keep being it be something that you see i shared about how my alarm for two years was phd i wait to you every 6 a.m i was seeing that let that be something that you are seeing every day if you need to have people pray with you then have them pray with you i did all of that i sent text messages to like three people who i knew that i really trusted i was like join me in prayer for this thing i was already working in the bank and doing other things but i knew that my Isaac, <laughs> we shall have to get it, right? So don't lose sight of your Isaac, regardless of how many Ishmaels are born. Now, finally, because this video is already getting too long, the power of community. The journey you're working, you are not the first person to work on it, you're to work the journey. You are not the first, you won't be the last. There are people who have there are people who have worked before you there are people who are working at the same moment that you're working find those people you don't want to cause an unnecessary delay in your life just because you didn't have the right information hello you don't want to cause unnecessary delay in your life just because the person who was supposed to help you you were for me i don't really speak to strangers or i don't really speak to people i mean this is not my level this is not or you are just shy God has given you a promise and you are shy. I, mean, I don't I, I don't get it. Look for people who are working that journey that you're working. Become their friends. Let them hold you accountable. If it's an exam you need to write, let them be asking you how far the exam. If it's an application you need to put in, let them be asking you, mm, have you applied? People who have gone before you, let them be giving you tips. Don't just sit back and say, it's just between me, it's just me. I mean, I can do this. You are not supposed to live in isolation. That's not how this life was planned. That's not how God planned us to live. We are supposed to live in community. God has kept someone who will be resourceful to what you're um, waiting for to your own process. Make sure that you take advantage of it. Don't be too shy. Don't feel too big. Don't feel too proud to ask for help. If you need to go online to ask for help, ask. If you need to reach out to that old classmate that you are forming for, reach out to them. God will even teach you humility. It's all part of the process. And yeah, make sure that you have a community. I can't emphasize. I had a community. I had people who were calling me. I had people who had done the same thing that I was doing, who had gotten into similar programs. And they were telling me, do this, don't do that. I had mentors people who had done all those things and it was really helpful if not for one of such mentors i wouldn't be i was trying all my power Wait, ah, after all, i'm really qualified and this and that it took me nowhere so i learned that <laughs> there's power in community there's power in people holding up your hands there's power in people strengthening you don't do this alone whatever you're waiting for don't wait in isolation don't wait alone god has created people or god has kept people for you to use to bless you to help you take advantage of it right now that's all for this video i hope that i have um, said something that will be of help to you if you're waiting um most importantly whatever process god takes us through god is making us better people that's the whole point of the process remember i said it's in his timeline so it's in his timeline that at the end of so 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 number of years or days or months or whatever your wait period is you would have become this person not only would you have gotten a particular thing but you would have become a particular person 
So that is actually very, very important that you're staying true. You're making sure you're loving true. You're making sure you're not doing things out of desperation. You're making sure that you're taking advantage of community. You're making sure that you're becoming a better person through the wait period. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. If you have been on a wait period and any of these points i've mentioned resonates with you please leave it if you're currently in a wait period and you're comfortable to share leave it in the comments and we will all try to encourage one another thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you in my next video bye now particularly my um the tips i'm going to be sharing here are going to be <laughs> Particularly, the tips I'm going to be sharing here are going to be um, very, very much relatable for... No, don't say that. Let us all learn. If you're currently in the wait period and you're comfortably, comfortable, hey, hey, comfortable to share, leave it in the wait. <laughs> leave it in the comments. Bye.